Welcome to Bears in Exile. Today is Thursday, February 9th, and this is the market overview looking at the Dow SPX, VIX, TNA, UU, PFX, EGLD, SLV, XOI, NASDAQ, GE, XLF, and whatever else happens to fall in there. Okay. Well, another uh, fun but boring day. Um, you know, it's the same thing every single day. Greece is going to be fixed. Oh, no, it's not. Maybe tomorrow. Greece is going to be fixed. Oh, no, maybe tomorrow. And then uh, after hours tonight, oh, maybe it'll be fixed uh, next week, maybe Wednesday. What a uh, fascinating way to uh, just kind of string along the market. We'll string it along until something terrible happens and hope that something good happens. Well, anyway, that's getting old to me, but uh, it is what we have to work with. So... Here we are with the Dow. Very pretty little spinning top. Very small, real body. Um, could have been a, a, a hanging man, but uh, which would have been cool, four hanging men in a row. But instead, we got this little spinning top. Still have the 14 day RSI moving average ticking down. Stochastic still locked in the upright position. CCI ticking down, RSI ticking down. Uh, MACD just hanging out, and the histogram also hanging out so once again not too much to say uh, isn't that a broken record isn't it uh, short-term moving averages all pointing up long-term moving averages all pointing up we don't have any signal yet that it is time for this to uh, go and uh, correct itself um, just the melt up what else is there to say SPX yeah let's see what we have here Ah, much better. Fourth spinning, or fourth spinning top. Ha! Ah, fourth hanging man. And uh, yeah, the top is a little bit large for it to be extra pretty. But uh, it is what it is. And I just find it funny that it can uh, uh, have four of those all in a row. Um, and seven green days. How about that? You know, just uh, how about that? We do have a slight downtick on the 14-day RSI moving average, as seen there. Actually, let me blow it up a little bit better. Oh, I am wrong. Slight uptick on SPX. So downtick on the Dow, uh, slight uptick on SPX. Yeah, been better with another slight downtick, but uh, that is what it is too. CCI ticking down, RSI ticking sideways, MACD ticking up. And uh, MACD histogram ticking sideways. So, once again, waiting for a signal, which we do not have. Um, the VIX. We'll take a look at the VIX. Yeah, how about that? We have the uh, uh, bubble corrective move completed. The uh, uptick target has been met. That is finished. This bubble is fixed. So the question is now, are we going to go in for a bar retest? Or is it going to continue on its merry way down, which is what it's been doing this entire time? Well, 14 DRSI moving average still ticking up. Stochastics ticking up. CCI ticking up. RSI ticking up. Histogram ticking up. MACD ticking up. Very interesting that you have green VIX and green overall markets uh, so somebody is lying and uh, it has been the VIX line for the past month which was unusual and uh, can't trust it yet to be telling the truth just not yet the NASDAQ yep yep hanging man and uh, look at all these green days Ooh, green days um, 14 day RSI moving average still ticking up. Been waiting for this to turn down and it hasn't turned down. So until it does that, I am not going to trust any of the other stuff because this is the leader. Um, side tick on the CCI, uptick on the RSI, and a side tick on the MACD histogram, uptick on the MACD. Uh, this one just needs to show some weakness before we can trust anything else and we don't have it TNA very interesting actually red um, we still have the 14 DRSI moving average ticking up 
Yep, ticking up. So, um, till it turns down, not really going to put too much faith in that. Although the stochastics are trying to get underway to the downside, along with the CCI, the RSI, the histogram, and the MACD. So, we do have some, uh, actually all of the secondaries, with the exception of the, well, the 14-day RSI moving average is not a secondary, it's primary. Uh, they're all showing weakness. So, uh, and we did get a down tick today. Down tick gives us a target just below 59. And we need to see the rest of the market uh, start to agree with a down move so that we can believe that. But uh, nonetheless, uh, that is the target that we have after today. And you can see all of these tails on the bottom. Every dip is bought. Mm -mm -mm. Every dip. You can see that every single night with the futures. Every dip is bought. And uh, so... It's very difficult at this point in time to have any faith that uh, the down move is coming, but um, or any kind of down move is coming. But uh, at some point, a down move will show up. Uh, XLF Financials. Been watching this hand in hand with the Nasdaq as they are the two things which uh, really matter at this point in time. We do not have a down tick. Did have a red day. Down tick on 14 day outside moving average good down on uh, the fast stochastic down on the cci rsi the histogram but not the macd so uh, we need to see a down tick see all of the secondaries confirm the move to the downside and then uh, really have the 14 day rsi get underway by crossing the 80 line and start heading for the bottom uup too fat of a body for it to be a hammer. We do not have an uptick. The uh, long-term moving averages still are uh, trying to form their flat line. 14-day RSI moving average oversold. Stochastics heading down. CCI ticking down. RSI ticking sideways. Histogram ticking up. Down tick on the MACD. So we don't have a good indication that this is going to have any kind of a bounce or a you know real bounce which uh, since they are propping up the euro story every single day just another day just another day maybe next week this makes sense unfortunately which isn't to say that we don't have a bubble here we do have excessive separation we do have wobble but we do not have a clear indication that uh, it's bounce time at this moment fxe the euro yep it is uh, on the other side, has been for a few days. Short term moving average is pointing up, ending with a red spinning top. We can see the 14 day RSI moving average getting into overbought along with the stochastics. CCI very high, RSI overbought ticking up, MACD ticking up, MACD histogram ticking sideways. So I think the question becomes here all this story of it's about to be fixed, it's about to be fixed, has done all of this. And now they're saying, wait another day, wait another day, wait until next week. And it's kind of just hanging out. So let's assume that it is going to continue hanging out because the story continues to work. In which case, we're going to see the long-term moving averages collapse into a flat line, perhaps even having the short-term moving averages collapse into the flat line, uh, possibly converge. And then we'll have a double flat line. Hopefully, we won't get to that point. But um, another week, and uh, perhaps it'll be close to that. I don't see how it's going to get to um, 1.4 or 1.5. Um, you know, in the near term, I suppose anything is possible. But um, nonetheless. That is what it is, little indecision candle today, as it pauses, uh, which the entire overall market is uh, pausing with it. GE, try to get a read on the Dow, forecast it. Look at that. Got a down tick today. Gives us a target just shy of $19. It is uh, bearish engulfing. 
14 day RSI moving average ticking down. We've been watching this one for a while now. Um, is it going to be enough to finally take us in for a proper bar retest? We don't know yet. We notice that it is just above the upper price consensus level, actually touching it and slightly backing away from it today. Stochastics looping over, uh, attempting to start a down move, although the uh, slow stochastic is uh, lagging that just a little bit. CCI ticking down, RSI ticking down, histogram ticking down, and uh, interesting, the MACD, uh, I'm sorry, the MACD histogram ticking up slightly, MACD itself ticking down. Very interesting. So I think that this, in combination with the uh, with XLF, if XLF was to get a, a proper down tick, start moving down, and we have everything move in agreement to the downside, that along with GE will be a good indication that it'll be time for the Dow to take a hit. And uh, not that it would be that big of a hit. I mean. Uh, Long-term moving average bar currently at uh, what will what will be uh, twelve six hundred, which is a couple of points, uh, three hundred points to the downside, but uh, still in the grand scheme of things, absolutely nothing in context from uh, the last couple of months. I think at that point you'll really see, we'll really have the test of dip buying real dip buying that is um gld second vix yeah look at that bearish engulfing and um still have a down tick target just a hair below where it is now i would expect that to be filled um with no real effort whatsoever uh 14 day outside moving average still ticking up Stochastics trying to turn around to go up and meet it. Side tick on the CCI, down tick on the RSI, down tick on the MACD, down tick on the MACD histogram. Um, so yes, definite indications that uh, that down tick should be met. Maybe we'll even go back for a bar retest that would be healthy, and um, and we will continue to wait for the push-pull effect of fear versus the lower dollar, which um, certainly would have seemed from the dollar chart that uh, dollar is not going to be rescued just yet, although I would love to be surprised. Um, SLV, bearish engulfing, down tick. Down tick gives us a target just shy of 32.5. 14 day RSI moving average is still ticking up. Stochastics trying to figure out what to do with themselves. Side tick on the CCI, down tick on the RSI, down tick on the MACD, down tick on the MACD histogram. Um, precious metals have had a really good run. Going back for a retest of the new flatline long term moving averages and bouncing is completely healthy. Absolutely. How about one more, one more chart for fun? Since we're watching the uh, NASDAQ so closely, Apple, yeah, how about some Apple? Look at this, this is crazy. Going outside the uh, upper Bollinger Band by a decent amount, uh, this one's just been <laughs> just chomping it up. Uh, long, uh, short term moving averages, uh, yeah, they're going to have some excessive separation. We can already see some wobble in them. Um, we can also see the CCI super high, actually uh, negative divergence if it were to turn down, um, crazy. Uh, side take on the 14 day RSI moving average, staying in the upright position along with the stochastics, uptick on the RSI, very, very high, uptick on the MACD histogram and the MACD. No signs of slowing down, but being outside that upper Bollinger Band is not a good thing. So I would expect there to be a move down or to the side just to get inside of it again. Extremely high volume in Apple as people are expecting there to be an iPod 3 announcement. I have no idea if there's going to be one or not. But uh, nonetheless, super high volume and getting outside the upper Bollinger Band, that's a warning sign to me. But uh, I guess we're, we'll see what happens certainly feels like front-running uh, an announcement to me, but uh, 
we shall see. And that's going to do it for tonight. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video are for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. I hope that Friday has all kinds of fun action. Good night.